Pay, I'm Tim. I'm a distance runner from Brisbane. I travel down here probably a few days a week and uh, train with Gold Coast Runco. I first found out about these guys through Louis McPhee. Met him on a university running trip in Switzerland a few years ago and was just looking for kind of the next stage in my running. Louis had found a group of guys down here at the time and that seemed like the right place to go for me. The ambition and similar, I guess, goals, and I guess the, where Jacko wants to get this group and where we've come, I guess, in three years, we all kind of felt similar um, with that mindset. And even chat to most of the guys, I'd say first, first year I spent here, I was probably getting hammered by Louie every session, and still do pretty regularly, Liam as well and Jordo. Anyone who runs knows you go through the year, you'll go through waves of fitness form, you have breaks, you have good patches, you have bad patches, so it's really good to have a big group. We can have up to 10 people even taking reps for some of the shorter stuff and definitely on your bad day, yeah, they'll let you know about it and you'll get dropped, which is uh, pretty good in a sense that, yeah, you've always got to be kind of on your game and you've got plenty of people to keep you accountable. We've been pretty lucky up here in Queensland, I will admit. We've had a few lockdowns, nothing compared to the rest of Australia though. So even though we haven't had a lot of racing, we've kind of been able to strip it back and just enjoy, I guess, the simplicity of running, why we do it, and just enjoy being able to even just run together in groups. Because in obviously lockdowns and stuff, when I'm in Brisbane, I'll be solo again for two weeks and you remember pretty quick why you come down here. I think I was asked, it'd be about a year ago now, how I was thinking about this whole COVID and running type thing. And I said right back at the start, probably almost two years ago now, just think maybe a year or two down the track and try and target where you want to be for that time. But now where we're at, it's actually kind of challenging that mindset because it's been that year, two years now that I initially set and tried to see where I wanted to be. So yeah, I'd be lying if I said it's not playing on your mind a bit. I think we've, we've got the light at the end of the tunnel coming in the next few months. And like I said previously, we've got a good enough group here that we can, I reckon, hold it together for a few more months. So we got Sunshine Coast next weekend, where a lot of us are going to be doing the half marathon. Was the Aussie champs prior to all the lockdown stuff. So all of us that are still able to get there, we're going to have a pretty red hot crack. Pretty soon after we've got Noosa Bowl, Bridge to Brisbane's in there. I think the UQ Classic 1500, which is always a bit of fun for someone like me just to try and, I guess, keep up for as long as I can. So we got three or four coming up and then uh, December, fingers crossed, Zatapec, worst case scenario, maybe January. Zatapec's definitely a big one within our group. Very prestigious race, obviously, and one of the better chances in the Australian running calendar to run quick over 10,000. I've always thought, because everyone would agree with me, you get asked this a fair bit from like friends, family, even people when they first meet you and find out you can run, they're like, oh, why do you do it, where do you want to go? And I'd love one day, it's a pretty big goal, I'd love just to make an Australian senior men's team one day for any sort of distance running. So that is the primary goal, obviously takes a lot of work, a lot of years. May never get there and that, that's okay, that's at the end of the day not why we do it. We all love running for the people and the underlying, I guess, fun and lifestyle factors that we get out of it. I do enjoy the process. I guess that's what Jacko says a lot. You've got to enjoy it. We have our little goals along the way and every year we kind of sit down individually and catch up and kind of just have a look and see, you know, are we on track? Are we off track? Have things changed? Have, have we even changed our long-term goals or are you happy, are you not? And he would agree as well, the last probably three years, we've all come leaps and bounds. I think I went to Launceston with Liam and Tecatel, a few guys from our group. Um, yeah, and Tecatel, he'll correct me probably, I'm not sure he'd broken 31 minutes going into it, or it might have run 30 high. And the bloke went down there and ran under 30. And that, for us and our whole group, um, and anyone who'd run with this group in the last three years, I remember the, probably the overwhelming support and happiness that anyone 
who'd run here felt for tech was yeah pretty cool and that was a reminder of why we do it and I guess the kind of vibe that our group has that was probably the coolest thing that's happened this year to our group in my opinion. Yeah, so today was pretty staple session for us. We did 30 minutes of one minute on, one minute off um, through the spit. So pretty undulating trail, um, which is good. We kind of, you get rolling towards the end of it. So our rule of thumb is to have our first on um, the same pace as the last off. So you really want to get rolling towards the end of it. Um, Jacko said today, keep the first 20 minutes pretty steady and then get going the last 10. Um, yeah, we got the half marathon next week, obviously. So don't want to dig too deep. And I've got a pretty big session this Friday on the roads. Um, but yeah, overall went pretty well. Um, and yeah, was pretty happy how quick we got rolling the last 10.